We're going to sit here and just have a quick conversation about what New Leaf is doing beyond just looking at nice pictures of roots on white backgrounds. Um, it's called dirt. Allison, is, is that what the platform's called? Well, you know, as a soil scientist, we say this is soil and whatever's under your nails is dirt. But if you mean digital imaging of root traits, yes, that's an acronym, DIRT. And that is the way that we're looking at our roots this season. So digital imaging of root traits, or DIRT, is a root phenotyping system developed by multiple universities and it's uh, made free online, I think through the iPlant Collective. I'll correct that in the comments if I got it wrong. Um, and we uh, basically every root that we dig and it's going to be thousands of roots this season so we're pretty excited about that every root that we dig goes on to get a glamour shot like an individual photo of the entire root system on a black background with a poker chip as a size um, reference and what the software does is uses an algorithm to trace the paths of the roots it looks at everything from number of tips to number of crossings to root diameter and then it uses the size marker as a way to um, uh, back calculate like actual distances. And each root will have 75 individual metrics that come out of that measurement from a single photo. And then we put that all together um, and it's gonna be a fun summer. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see which traits um, our M-trophs are influencing. And we have a few that are of interest, but it's also, like an open analysis just mm -hmm. to see like here's a tool that measures all of these great things um, we know that we see roots systems that are um, larger but is there something that that's more detailed than just a larger root system so uh, if there is we will find out so as far as those 75 metrics that are going to come back could you share what a few of those are and and what those numbers mean for us as New Leaf as we're kind of evaluating this new software and what it can tell us sure so so um, uh, DIRT, uh, the digital imaging of root traits, comes really out of um, the root phenotyping plant physiology research world. And a lot of that is like built by plant breeders. So a lot of the traits may be under sole genetic control of the plant and may not be as influenced by microbes, um, but uh, things like total root biomass, um, especially looking at fine roots um, and uh, even looking at things like adventitious roots and ratios of those, I think we're going to be really interested to see um, how our M-trophs influence that. That's exciting. So, you know, for us as a, as a smaller company, as a startup coming to the commercial market for the first year, this was something that was really exciting for the commercial team as we were thinking through, we're partnering with Intent, we're gonna get a bunch of really good data back, how can we take it a step further? So DIRT is really just a nice example of, of how we're taking what great work Intent is already doing in the field and trying to build on that to build out stronger, more robust data sets to keep our scientists happy with, with the number of of, of data sets in each piece. And while I have her here, this actually kind of jogged my memory on something else. Another way that we're trying to kind of, you know, push above and beyond is we are testing some uh, nutrient uh, capabilities this year with on the soybean side specifically so doing some grain analysis mm -hmm. at the end of the year could you talk to us about some of those first results we saw um, that led us to wanting to kind of push some dollars and efforts into testing this on a large scale yeah so we saw some differences um, in uh, in bean quality at the end of the season with some of our uh, late stage like pre-commercial and commercial isolates so that's one of the reasons why specifically for soy we wanted to follow up on that data set and um, really learn again is that phenotype going to be something that we see across all locations and all soil types or is that really something that's specific to um, a certain type of soil or a certain type of growing condition so um, you know grain quality is really important and if we're able to move that dial and move that dial consistently across uh, different geographies that's going to be really exciting too because yield is one thing mm -hmm. and and grain quality is also nice yeah yeah. So these are just kind of some quick examples of how New Leaf is really committed to getting the data that, that we need and that you need to make really informed product decisions. So we're excited to keep sharing these pieces with you as the season goes on. And I think we've probably piddled in the field enough and we should go help Kyle.